welcome to SAP B1 training session. Today we are going to speak about the item master data. To access the item master data, we have to go to the module inventory, inventory master data. Item master is the one of the most important data, master data in SAP B1. Item number is the unique key for the system. System facilitated to maintain inventory item as well as non-inventory item in the system. The user can set an item as either inventory, sales, purchasing item or any other combination. As mentioned, item master data is the place to manage the detail of the item and to define each item to the system and in item master data screen there are some other tab as follow where the company can maintain the detail of the item so if you go through with the this interface you can see there are some tabs called general processing data sales inventory data planning data production data properties remark and attachment as a dummy data, I am going to select one item from the system. So if you go through with the item master data, you can see the general tab is the first tab. So in here, you can see uh, what it contains. So we can define this item as a manufacturing item or any other method. And in additionally, we can add another identification method for the item then you can see the see the shipping method so in my system we have defined some in code terms for the particular item also we can define this item whether we want to manage batch wise or medium wise or non batch item so i got an error because this this item already have some transactions and then we can active this item or we can inactive the item for the given period or we can give the range this should be active this area this, uh, from this day to this day inactive this day to this day so we have a lot of features in the general tab then we can go to the Purchasing type. Purchasing set, uh, we can mention the preferred, if there is a preferred vendor, we can prepare a hierarchy. So if you click to this uh, button, you can see the hierarchy we can define. So it's helpful for our business and also uh, purchasing unit of measure name and per item, what is the uh, method, what is the unit of measure and if you are packing what is the unit of measure and we can define uh, the length, weight, volume and some other factors in this present tab. If you go to the sales tab, same scenario, we can see the sales unit of measure name per item, what is the unit and the packing details and quantity per package inventory data this is the one this is the one of the most important tab if you analyze the item in here you can see what is the item what is the method we are using for gl account setting and we can define the information name and what is the valuation method we are using currently we are using the fifo and do you, what is the managing method so currently we are you, using the warehouse managing method and also this grid is the most important thing warehouse size how much of quantity available in the system you can see this particular battery is available in the B warehouse B warehouse and if you click this tab you can see in which bin location that particular item is available so you can see the bin location this is the available quantity in 
each bin location. So then we can move to the planning tab. This is also very much important for the planning. So this planning method we can define. What is the planning method? This item. So we can select this is a MRP. If you want to come this particular item to MRP, definitely you have to select to select as MRP. And uh, what is the procurement method? Buying or make. Uh, and some other fields which is not very much important and now the more yes there is one another important place uh, lead time this is also very much helpful for MRP thing and also minimum quantity which you want to maintain then you can go to the production data so if you shift to the production data you can see what is the issue method that mean uh, black fresh mean automatic issue anything or manual method so in here we can define the what is the standard cost uh, for this particular item uh, this tick is very much important because if you are using the roll up method uh, if you tick this it will applicable for auto roll up method so if you go to the properties tab uh, we can define this particular item in different different item properties it's same as item groups in remark field we can use whatever the remark which helpful to our reference to maintain this item is this this kind of data is contained this data is this much of data is contained like that we can use the remark tab as our note then we can go to the attachment type in attachment type you can attach whatever the document in the system as example you can uh, include the technical specs or some other important data sheets whatever the thing you can attach and store in the system this this is very much helpful for us for further reference Every item that is added to the item master should be linked to an item group and the GL account will be managed by the item group. GL account can be linked into accounting tab of the item group screen. So first we can we should want to go to the item group administration setup inventory item groups. In here you can see we can define what is the planning method, procurement method, order in intervals, order multiples. For your easiness, I am going to select one item from the system. Okay. So if we shift to the account group, account type, we have to define what is the expense account, inventory account, where in the revenue account and if there is a various what, what is the account which we want to pass the value and the ex, if there is any exchange rate difference what is the account which we want to pass the value so we have to discuss with our finance team and we have to add the accounts in item group Okay, thank you very much.